What I love about a great pair of jeans is that they can match almost anything in your wardrobe. But there are some basic rules. There are some guidelines that you need to follow if you want to put together amazing outfits. In today's video, I'm going to lay out those rules. I'm going to give you those guidelines with plenty of examples, with shoes, with jackets, with shirts, with accessories, so that you can look like a million bucks when you're wearing jeans with anything in your closet. So, to start, let's talk specifically about the type of jeans which are going to match everything in your wardrobe. Number one, these jeans are going to be simple. They're going to be a dark color. We're talking indigo, dark blue, dark gray, black. These are blank canvas jeans. These are jeans that I can build an outfit on, not in a sense what I want to build the outfit around. This is key because if you've got some bright colored jeans, you've got some great ones with distress, I don't know, on, on, on the knee area, maybe on the back area, you've got some shiny stones that are glued on them. I mean, that's cool. Those jeans may be interesting, but those are not the type I'm talking about because those are going to draw attention to themselves. The jeans I'm talking about are going to be the base for the outfit. Next up, you want to get the fit right. There are five main categories of fit. We have skinny, we have slim. We have straight, we have boot or semi loose, and then we have ultra loose. Now, I'm going to say for most men, ultra loose and skinny is not going to work for your body type. So, then we've got those three center categories. I find that many men can kind of go between them, but you do want to find something that's going to work for your body type and go with it. So, we've established the type of jeans you need to have as your base canvas. Now, let's talk about balance, specifically in two areas. The level of formality of the clothing you're going to be matching with the jeans. You want to make sure that it's about the same going across the board. You don't want to try, take something that's ultra casual and try to mix it with something that's formal. Also, pay attention and balance out the fit of the clothing. You don't want to take something that's really bulky and try to mix it also with something that is very sleek, that is very lightweight, that has a very slim build. And speaking of balance, gentlemen, let me introduce you to Original Grain. They're the paid sponsor of today's video. In case you're not familiar with their story, Ryan and Andrew, two brothers, came together with the mission to create unique timepieces that seamlessly integrate natural hardwood and stainless steel. Gentlemen, I've worked with Original Grain for almost two years, and I love the fact that no two watches are the same. Just let me go ahead and pull up the collection. Go through this, right? The Chrono, the Barrel Collection, the Classic Collection, the Minimalist Collection, the Brewmaster Collection. Guys, they're a great company and I know that you guys love them because you send me testimonials. You send me emails saying, Antonio, I took a chance, I went over and I grabbed it with that discount code I'm putting down in the description and I got a great watch and I'm wearing it, I'm getting compliments, I love it. Guys, go use that discount code. Oh, and by the way, all those collections I talked about, let me know down in the description what your favorite watches are and if I've got some extras, you guys know I love sending them out. All right, so we've established that you've got the right type of jeans and that you understand the importance of balance. Now, let's talk about building outfits. So, whenever you've got those base jeans and you're looking at the first piece you're going to match with them, go to your shoes, go to your foundation of your outfits. And the type of shoes you select is really going to dictate the formality and the overall feel of the outfit. I stick with shoes because I think this is where a lot of men spend a lot of money in their wardrobe and I think it's just a great place to start with your foundation. So, how this would work in practice, let's say I have a dark pair indigo jeans, I would match them with these boots right here, these dress boots, they've got the suede, they've got the wingtips, they've got the broguing in them. This right here is going to dictate to me that I can wear up to a sports jacket. I could wear simply a nice dress shirt with this. I could even dress it down with a polo with those jeans, but let's say I'm going to go with one of my go-to favorites. You guys have seen this. I could also wear this shirt with it as well. That would work. So, the next thing I chose was the shirt. Now, putting this down over here, I'm going to grab a sports jacket. You guys have probably seen this combination before. The blue right here with this. And so, imagine it with that indigo pair of jeans. If I want to go for a little bit of contrast, I go with this shirt instead. With the, uh, with the dark colored jeans, you would see how that I would put that one together. Now, taking that same indigo pair of jeans, but I want to change things up. Let's say I want to start the base with these, or maybe I wanted to go with these right here. I wanted to bring in some suede loafers. I could go with either one of these and I could match it with a shirt like this. And all of a sudden, I've got something that I don't have to wear a jacket for. Although, let's say it's a little bit cooler, we're entering fall, I could bring in a jacket, something like this. Although, if I brought in this type of suede texture right here, 
I would tell you guys that I would probably not wear these because I've already got suede in the jacket. Wear them with this, with the indigo, and you start to see the combination right there. Now, let's say I wanted to take those same indigo jeans and I wanted to dress them up. Well, I would start off with a pair of dress shoes. Again, I'm going to go with a color. I'm not going to go with black. I think that ox blood, I think dark brown is going to work better with the dark blue, which is indigo. Uh, if I were to go with a pair of black jeans, I could possibly wear black dress shoes, but I do feel that black dress shoes should be reserved more for formal. And so, I like going with the color like ox blood or dark brown. And then I would bring in a combination like this. I've got this shirt. Look at that color right in there mixed with this along with this right here and this whole combination right there. Really quick, let's talk about accessories. I do feel since jeans are casual, I try to keep my accessories a bit more casual. If your accessories are too dressy, so you've got belt buckles, which are too shiny, or you've got ties, which are made from silk and in a sense look like they should go with a suit or a casual suit, I don't really find that's the best combination. I gravitate towards ties, which are going to have more texture to them, whether that be sewn into the tie or it's just simply the way it's uh, built and the way it looks. I think that these work better with jeans in general. When it comes to belts, I'm looking for belts that are going to be, you know, are, aren't going be have as much of a luster are going to just simply work better, be more casual in their nature. All right, gentlemen, hopefully this video motivated you to go out there, take your jeans and put together some great outfit combinations. If you want more, go check the support article down in the description. I am going to put together more outfits in that support article. So, if you're like Antonio, you just talked about a few in today's video. I know I try to keep these videos within a certain length, but if you want more over at realmenrealstyle.com, I've got tons of information for you. And gentlemen, don't forget, go check out Original Grain. They're a great sponsor for two years. I've been talking about their watches. I've been wearing their watches and I mean, it's a great company. I know this because you guys send me emails. You, you've sent me letters talking about how you purchased one and you get compliments. You love the way it looks. It's just a great overall watch to add to your collection. Gentlemen, take care. I'll see you in the next video.